Prone pike. We're gonna start in a push-up position. Hands under the shoulders, body nice and straight. From there, we're gonna push our hips and butt up to the sky, bringing the chest towards the knees and letting the head drop to the inside of the arms. From there, we're gonna come back down to the push-up position, making sure the hips don't sag, keeping a nice straight body, and then just reversing that motion back into the pike and back down. Spider-Man with rotation. You're gonna start by putting your hands and one toe on the ground, and then you're gonna hike your other leg, foot up flat by one of your hands. So you have one leg extended behind you and one bent with your foot flat on the ground. Now the hand next to the foot is gonna go up in the air and you're gonna rotate and open your chest towards your up knee. Then you're gonna reach that hand between your down hand and your long leg, reach your shoulder through. So you're just rotating up and rotating down as much as you can. Good, make sure you get big reaches. Leg lowering too. You're gonna start by laying on your back and kicking both legs up towards the ceiling and straighten your legs as much as you possibly can. You're gonna drop one leg and exhale, and as you do that, you wanna tuck your ribs into your hips and try to blow all the air out of your lungs. Big exhales. Good, take your time and you wanna control your spine as you drop your leg. Try to keep both legs as straight as possible throughout the whole movement. Half kneeling rotation stretch. So you're gonna start in the half kneeling position with your knee directly over your ankle on your front leg and your down leg knee um, directly underneath your hip. Then you're gonna put your opposite hand of your up knee across your knee. So the back of your hand's gonna be on your knee and you're going to push your upper body, get a nice stretch and exhale as you rotate behind you. Make sure you turn your head so you're trying to look behind you as much as you possibly can. Just hold and stretch. We've decided to call this exercise Tinkle Bear. You're gonna start by placing your hands on the ground. You're gonna your hands and knees and you're gonna get in a good pair position. So your wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You're going to pick your knees up two inches off the ground. And then we're going to lift one of our knees out to the side, straight up towards the ceiling. Good, and exhale. As you lift, try to hold it as still as possible. So you don't wanna rotate your hips as you lift your leg up. Really try to stay nice and flat with your body. The most important thing is controlling your core, kicking your leg out to the side. Reverse lunge with rotation. You're gonna start by stepping back with one foot onto your toe. You're gonna to drop that knee underneath that hip and you're gonna to rotate to the up leg with your hands outstretched in front of you and clasp together. So you're gonna step back, drop, and then rotate towards the up knee. Don't let your knee touch the ground on this one. So part of the challenge is staying off the ground. So you're just dropping down and holding it while you turn and breathe. Make sure that you don't take too far of a step back. You're gonna get a wicked weird pull on your hip and maybe possibly torque your back. So make sure you keep your down knee as close to under your hip as you can get it. Hip twister. You're going to find something like a broomstick, or uh, you could use a chair if you don't have a broomstick, and you're going to put it in front of you, and you're going to hang on to it and drive it into the ground with your hands. For this exercise, you're going to keep your chest still, so keep your sternum facing whatever you're hanging on to, and you're going to rotate your hips side to side without moving your feet. You can bend your knees a little. Make sure your hips are moving and your upper body is completely straight. So whatever you're grabbing onto for stability, push it into the floor. Bicycle crunch. For the bicycle crunch, you're gonna put your hands behind your head, pick your knees up, and you're gonna pedal like you're riding a bike while rotating your body towards your knee. So I say try to put your shoulder or your pec into your knee. You don't wanna pull on your head by aiming with your elbows. So get really good rotation, keep your elbows nice and wide. 